Hey guys, what's up? It's Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a review of the newest version of Reason that just came out, 10.4. It kind of snuck out into the wild, kind of surprisingly. I mean, Reason 10.3 just came out a month or two ago, so I was very surprised to see this. It is basically makes a few cleanup errors and then adds two new instruments to Reason, both of which are excellent. Also, I want to know, what are your thoughts on this? Please leave them below. What were you hoping to see from Reason 10.4? Do you think we'll see a Reason 10.5? Or are they going to go to Reason 11? Let me know down below. Thanks so much. I think you know, probably from my recent videos, what my overall view of Reason is and about how I'm using it in my workflow. But these two instruments by themselves are certainly incredible and they add a lot to Reason. I don't think it's what I needed added to Reason, but in the context of the package, these are two hugely usable instruments. So let's take a quick look at them. First, you've got the, um, they're just right here under the Reason devices, the monotone bass synthesizer. It's a mono bass synth, and it sounds really good. We'll listen to it in a second. And then you also have a drum machine, the rhythmic, rhythmic drum machine. And it also sounds really good. These are two really good instruments. And I would see no reason not to use these, um, not to update to Reason 10. If you, 10.4, if you are already on Reason 10, um, if I was on Reason 9.5, I don't think this would make me do it. But let's listen to this mono synth real quick. All right, let's listen to the drum real quick. It's a really good sounding drum machine. Um, these sounds are just really usable. Like these would really be my go-to drum sounds. And they better be because you can't actually drop in waveforms. So it's got a bunch of really great sounding drum kits that work perfectly together. You see here it says sample, and you can use any of the samples that come with it, but you can't add your own samples, which just seems really weird to me. It's uh, like close to being a turbocharged, super awesome drum machine, and it just seems like it's kind of neutered in a way that it doesn't need to be. But for these, like, I don't know how many drum kits there are, two dozen drum kits, they all sound absolutely spectacular and would be my go-to drum kit in many cases. Similarly, though, there's these, this rever reverb, reverb and delay, and you can't really edit them as far as I can tell. They're just there. Um, you can choose how much is in, but you can't change, choose the type. You also have a filter, which sounds really good, you know, low pass. And the distortion on it, also really nice. I mean, that sounds really good. That That's a beautiful 808. Uh, so really, really a fan of it. It also has separate outs for all of the tracks, so you can send them to your individual uh, slots on the mixer. So that's all, that's all gravy. Um, the other thing here is this bass mono synth, which sounds really good as well. Um, let's listen to a few more of the presets. I'll do a video actually like digging into it, but I just want to kind of show you what it sounds like. So, great, great sounding bass synth, um, mono synth, but also you can do like cool lead sounds if you play it higher up, um, like. 
Maybe even an octave higher than that. Throw some distortion on there, you'll get a crispy sound. So, reason 10.4, my overall thoughts. Thank you for the free uh, rack extensions. They sound really good. They will become part of your music mixing. It's wonderful to receive them. Uh, it's not really what's the fundamental problem with Reason, though, is having enough sounds. Um, as I've said previously, it's more of a workflow issue for me. So yes, the best version of Reason. If you like Reason, get it, update it. You'll love these. Uh, if you're struggling with some of the more bigger workflow issues with Reason, like I have been lately, um, it doesn't really help that much. But these, when I do use Reason, these are going to be sounds I'm going to go for. Uh, so those are my two cents. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe.